Hey guys, what's up? This is Caleb with DSLR Video Shooter. Recently did a video on hard drives that I use and how I use them. Lots of great comments, great discussions over on that video, so you can check that out. Below the video, I'll have a link to it. Um, and after that video went out, I got a couple comments and emails, and people were asking why I'm not using my Thunderbolt drives and I'm switching to USB. And I wanted to get into that because it's a great question and one that I think is very important. Which should you go with, USB or Thunderbolt? So to start things off, let's look at the speeds between these two connections. Most of these connection speeds are measured in gigabits, but I'm gonna be converting this to gigabytes and megabytes because I feel like that's something that we're more familiar with. So first let's look at Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt can hand up to 2.5 gigabytes per second or 2,500 megabytes per second. So obviously that's a ton of data. If we look at USB 3, that's a little lower at 0.6 gigabytes per second or 625 megabytes a second. So obviously there's a big difference. You might at this point be thinking, Thunderbolt, why would you not go with Thunderbolt? But there's kind of a catch here. If we think about the hard drives we actually use, most of us that can't afford SSDs are using hard drive disks, so actual disks in our hard drives. They're more affordable and they have pretty good performance. Of those drives, the faster ones are usually around 7,200 rotations per minute, and that's kind of a good all-around hard drive to be using if you're on a budget. But if you look at those hard drives and you look at the transfer speeds, not what they're technically able to do, but the actual transfer speeds, we're looking at around 90 megabytes a second. So both USB and Thunderbolt are way, way, way overkill. Therefore, I think USB 3 is one of the better options because of the price. Uh, Thunderbolt's very, very expensive and there's tons of USB 3 devices out there. That said, Thunderbolt does have an advantage in that you can daisy chain it and it also has so much speed that it can handle multiple devices. So if you're gonna hook up four plus drives, a monitor, a bunch of other devices, all to one port on your computer, you might consider using Thunderbolt. Or if you just daisy chain all the time and you need lots and lots of uh, transfer speed via connections, Thunderbolt is a great option. And to wrap this video up, I wanna talk about using a combination of the two. One way to use both in combination is have one Thunderbolt going out of your computer into a Thunderbolt dock. I use OWCs, there's several out there, and then I connect all my USB 3 devices to that dock. My computer doesn't have any USB 3 ports, so this is a huge advantage to me, and some people don't have a lot of ports on their computers, so. Having that option, you can connect up to six USB 3 drives, and since most of them are operating under 200 megabytes a second, they're easily gonna be able to flow nice and fast through that Thunderbolt connection. So in short, USB 3 is a great way to go. It's cheaper, it's plenty fast, but if you're going to be doing a lot of daisy chaining, maybe you should consider Thunderbolt, and of course, there's always the option of using both of those connections in tandem. So that's it for this video. As always, you can watch new videos right here at DSLR Video Shooter every single Tuesday and Thursday. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time.